praise to the most high. Glorious you and you are the ruler, it's in you that my hope lies. Oh God, no lie, no fight, I don't play both sides. Been so down with the windows down, truth music blowing at the whip so loud, you repent when I roll by. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. We are here in the shed again. It's Matsuri Prep Week, so we are going to be getting into it. Uh, we have a few things that we just need to sort out here. Uh, got to move the S14 out, move some engines and things around so we can bring the trailer in, light it all up, get uh, all our parts ready in the box trailer for the event. So that's what we're going to do. And plus we're going to get all the cars ready, a couple things to check. Uh, on a few cars and then just kind of the basic tidy up you know just you'll just see kind of if you're planning to go to a drifting event or a Matsuri or things like that kind of puts into perspective on kind of things you need to get ready I mean you've probably only got one car to get ready but it kind of gives you an idea on what it takes to get ready for an event and to have like a successful weekend without you know not having or running out of parts or something like that so this is what we're going to do check it out I reckon the Michelin Man, if you ever wonder where the Michelin Man sleeps, I reckon it's probably like similar to this. However, Michelin Man does not have a back, I think, because my back is already sore after about three minutes. And these are not Michelins either, because that's too expensive for us. Although well, maybe if I tuck myself in, they could work. What do you reckon? There's a bar there. Oh, this could actually possibly work. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon this could work. I'm in a sober state. I'm not even 30, my back is sore. <laughs> Who needs a tent for Matsuri when you got tyres? Oh yeah, that's a good thing. I need a tent. We'll make sure we get a tent. Spend a whole $30 that came up. Let's do it. Oh, it's a bit So we're back. Uh, I've had some lunch and stuff. A couple of things moved around, but we're good. It's getting Shannon's S13 out. Um, we're gonna hear it out starts. It's very loud now. He's got rid of the mufflers completely. It might actually be too loud for the camera up in here. Blue batteries.
Should be very good at Archie. Nah, we're not allowed at Archie like that. Should be good at QR though. Right. On to the fair lane. For a bit of a reference point, that is stop lock now. I'm going to be captain spin a lot if I go all right. All right, guys, so the fair lane is in, and from the last video when we changed the transmission, we didn't put, like we put obviously new fluid in, but we didn't change the filter mainly because they didn't know if the gearbox is even good. So it is good, I haven't been too hard on it because obviously the fluid that was previously in it in the trans cooler is pretty horrendous. So we're going to change that today as well. We'll put in the, the extra lock knuckles in for Matt Zuri. Um, so I'm excited for that. We're going to get that in, get it ready. Uh, obviously, it, it tows the car to the track too, so it's going to be there at Matsuri towing. But I don't really want to take it out on track. See how it goes. We'll see how we go. The diff, the LSD is a bit average. I should be able to make it work with the extra lock. So we'll see what happens. But keen to take it out on the big track with the auto. Hopefully. We're just going to put some smaller tyres on, um, just because the 245s are really, really grippy. It's not got that much power compared to how heavy it is. Like, this car is quite heavy, so the power to weight is a fair factor for that. So, I'm excited, so I'm jumping into it. I don't know, let's do something. <laughs> Even though I've changed it like not that long ago, like I've replaced so many things on this car, I don't understand why they're so bad. But anyway, we've got a new new ball joint and another arm because we're just ditching that arm completely. And also the new wheel bearing, or not that old wheel bearing that was on this side, didn't want to come off the stub axle. So we've just got a new one coming as well, which is just really annoying because particularly on this side I've replaced new things and they're busted, so it's kind of peeved me off a little bit, but that's the way it is. So that's what we're doing now. We're also gonna do the transmission service as well. Uh, see what that's like. Right after I change this and put it all back in. That's what I'm doing, which is just super duper exciting. <laughs>
All right, so we've got a, we're basically done with the knuckles. Just need to throw in the washers for this, um, and then I'll lime it, and we're good for that. And then get that transform to it. So we're going to see what the oil looks like after a week of driving. I th I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that it was empty and we obviously filled it with new fluid, but obviously the fluid that was in was just very bad. So this will be the first little dry. It wasn't the tightest, that's fine. I'm guessing we had it off then to drain it fully. And I don't know what the filter, I don't know what condition the filter's in either, so. It's not the worst. Not the worst at all. At least this one's got a tinge of red in it. Actually, what do we put? Do we, oh, we put synthetic oil. So the synthetic's actually not red. We put the full synthetic. It's actually not red. So that's not that bad. That's actually a rock. Um, yeah, that's actually a rock. You can see through it. I was actually expecting a whole lot worse. Particularly that the fact we didn't drain the um, transmission core. And obviously it was like brown grey or black grey. It's not bad, not bad at all. It doesn't stink either. So that's also a bonus. I guess we'll know as soon as I get this filter off. Drain a bit more. Well, that actually has texture. That should be there. Pretty happy. We'll drain it out, put the other filter on. Be good to go. <laughs> I think the reason it's not touching on this side is the sway bar needs to be slid over a little bit back this way. I think that's why, because that's never happened before. But I did notice it was slightly slid across. I thought oh, I'll go for a drive, might settle it. So it might settle like that, obviously. See what happens. But I think um, I'm excited. I'm keen for my Siri. Can you take this out? An oil change, and filter, and fuel filter. We're good to go with the tow car. And we'll double check on the cheeseburger what will happen. What's happened to it. Should be fine, but just after Arch, just to make sure that nothing's falling out. Good to go. GG. Let's do it.
so horrible that it's perfect. Do it for Karen. All right, thank you guys for watching today's video. Just a bit of a show of what we have to do to get ready for Matsuri. This is a lot of things that you got to get ready. There's people getting the cars ready and tuned and all types of stuff. So just a bit of a snippet of what we, what we have to do. Little things like that. Be sure to check us out at Matsuri. We'll be there. We don't know exactly where we're going to be. Check in the link below. It's going to be tickets for Matsuri. I know we have to do all that type of stuff before you get to the gate, I believe. Uh, just because of all the COVID stuff. So they want us to do that. So just to help you, if you're interested, you can jump on, jump on the link there to get you to it. Peace out, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Unfortunately, the party bus is not coming out yet. The party bus will be coming soon because I do believe we're not allowed to have four people in a car on the track. So taking the party bus would be completely pointless. But at Archie, it will be coming. So see you at Matsuri.